All right, guys, we are at American Barbell in Ohio, and I have the special privilege of training with the legend John Meadows, the Mountain Dog himself. John and I have talked over social media. We've done a podcast, which you should obviously check out, that I put on the YouTube channel, and it's on my uh, podcasting platform, Becoming the Lion Podcast. But today he's going to take me through an absolute insane leg workout. So I'm ready to grow some inches on my legs, learn some things. You guys are going to get a pad and paper because this man's going to be dropping some knowledge bombs. Make sure you subscribe to this man. I am super stoked. Rarely do I get a little uh, starstruck when I hang out with people, but he is somebody I really look up to and admire, and he has the uh, credentials to prove it. So let's go. Come on. Four. Five. You got one more. One more. Last one. Okay, last one. Last one, all the way up on your reps. Good. Two, three, four, five. Last one. Six. There you go. Good. That's good. Okay. Here we go. Let's go, John. Come on. There he is. There he is. Come on. Come on. Oh. 25, John. Oh. 14. Nice. Come on. Let's go. 21. Some blood in there now. Oh, God. Woo. Come on, a couple more, a couple more. Let's go. Come on. Oh, that didn't count. 22. Let's go. Come on. Oh, 24. One more. Yeah. Ah, come on. Come on, fire him up. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Woo. All right, magic number's 25, 25. baby. However we got to get there, we're going to get there. Come on. Big flex. Big flex. Flex. Bam. Flex. Come on. Flex. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. 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 Okay, we're going to go 30. We went a little bit light. So we're gonna make a small adjustment here. Yeah, There's 20. Deal. Ten more. Ten more. <laughs> Woo! Come on, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. There we go. Five more. Five more. Come on. Flex. All the way up. All the way up. Flex. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. All the way up. Woo! All the way up. All the way up. One. Come on. This, that one didn't count. You gotta do one more. All the way up. Come on. All the way up. Oh dear God. Come on, one more. All the way up. All the way up. Come on, get it up. All the way. There you yeah. go. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh dear God. That's just a warm up, baby. We're dripping. This is actual sweat. No one sprayed me down. This isn't Hollywood, it's the real deal. I want to train with a little more speed in terms of the reps, okay. just to develop some more explosiveness. So I never use this bar, what, what's this bar and how's it feel? So this is called a spider bar and it's a combination of a cambered bar and a safety squat bar. Okay. It's, my, it's actually my favorite bar to squat with. I don't have quite the, I was a, I love squatting back in my day, a regular old barbell squat, I loved it, but at some point, this became kind of uncomfortable for me mm -hmm. as I got older. When I hit about 43, 44 years old, my lower back started giving me some issues. But I love squatting, so where there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. This allows you to stay more upright, yeah. right? So I'm here, as opposed to getting down there. Mm -hmm. um, so it puts a lot more stress on your quads and a lot less stress on your back. Plus, this padding is real heavy duty. Feels real comfortable here, yeah. as opposed to the bar sitting on your spine so for me this has been a godsend it's allowed me to continue to squat um, it's allowed me to continue to do what i love without beating my body up so much that i have you know nice. major problems i'm excited to use it yeah phenomenal bar 
Because this is just going wide. Right? That's just not bad. Good. So on this, we're going to rock back a little bit like you're doing. Relax your quads and then flex them when you come up. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Look how pumped these quads are already. So yeah. I want to. Come on. Straight back. Up. Drive up. Good. Good. Straight back. Drive up. Good. Straight back. Drive up. Good. That's it. Good job. Why are we doing speed work? It's for strength. Okay. This this so isn't enough. What are you doing? Well, uh, I'm, I'm also part powerlifter. I just wasn't very good at it. Okay. I did have an 800 pound squat. I mean, All right. that's, that's I had a real respect in the 220s. That's respectable. Um, yeah, I love I love some of this mixing in speed work and strength work. Uh, that powerlifter in me just won't go away. Back tight, back tight, drive your quads. There you go, right there. Back tight, drive your quads. Back tight, drive your quads. Good. Four, one more. Good, right there. All good. Actually, I think that's probably your It's one of the best walkouts I've ever had. I almost took out the whole rack, but we're squatting, baby. So doing speed work, trying to find that good speed. So this is probably a good way for me. We got eight sets, five reps. That's 40 reps. She's on six that's going to be <laughs> one of our second exercise <laughs> of the total leg domination that we got going on today. So part of me is scared. A part of me is really excited. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Good control on the way down. Kick back. Relax now. Boom. Fire. Fire. Boom. Two. Three. Four. And so we have this super fancy way of how we know we're doing eight sets by lining up some kettlebells over here. <laughs> so, when in doubt, kettlebells. All right, so speed work, uh, like John was saying to me, um, definitely winded, and that's because of how much effort we're putting into each and every rep. Very explosive. So kind of like little sprints. Probably getting a minute and a half, maybe max two minutes between each one. Maybe a little bit lower, honestly. Uh, something I don't do often, but really uh, want to incorporate more of this into my training. But probably be some speed work, uh, you know, added in with my strength stuff that I've been doing just to keep this fast. Um, uh, twitch muscle fibers firing, you know, on all cylinders. Here we go, baby. Excellent, yeah, look at that. Look at that, man, his body's learned quick on these. Three, four, and five. Hell yeah. That is the exact speed I like. That's actually the speed I like all the stuff. Speed work's done, so now we got more bodybuilding. So, two exercises in it, it's leg day. Freaking crazy cool gym. Um, just kind of following the master and he's throwing through the gauntlet. John, what, what is this thing? This is a pendulum squat. It's like a hidden gem. I've never seen Oh this my before. god, these are brutal, man. These are brutal. What would you equate this to, probably? So I think when your legs grow, 
I think for your legs to grow, I like to really work them in a lengthened position. So, in other words, stretched, stretched out. Yeah. You know, people don't really think about that for quads. Uh -huh. Like if you think of this, the uh, squats we just did, those weren't fully lengthened. We were doing kind of half squats. But now look at the depth we can get on this. If I try to go that deep on the squats, I would hurt my back. But I can safely go rock bottom now and really lengthen out everything. This here, this here, everything. And that's what can really... And this adjusts too, right? Like we can adjust yeah, we got it up all the way so we can really drive with our heels. If it's flat, your weight tends to shift on the ball of your foot, which is more knee stress. So the way we're doing it protects our knees. The angle is really nice. So, oh yeah. Maximal stimulus. It, this is fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, On and off, I've known him for about 10 years now. Okay. So, but maybe like the last, maybe like the last two years or so consistently. But before that, just when our work schedules worked out and whatnot. But yeah, total inspiration. Yeah, what's something you learned from him over the Just his whole philosophy on the strategy on how he implements his workout. You know, he's talked about, and he could explain it a lot better than me, but how he uh, puts the order of his exercises, you know, for each workout. There's a total system, and it, it makes total sense, especially when you want to think of longevity, right? And in my mind, it's like, I want to do this till I'm 65 or whatever. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. So this is definitely a machine I've never used before. I actually love it. If I could get one of these ASAP, I would. Reason is because uh, it takes all the pressure off your back, getting a crazy range of motion with the, the quads. Uh, but we're trying to do one set of 25. So resting a little bit longer, and then however we need to partition the 25 reps, we will. Uh, but it's going to be a gut check. Uh, so I'm going to hit this, uh, created the leg guards that my quads stay attached to the bone, and uh, we'll see how I feel after. Monster set right here. Monster set right here. This is a man or boy set, that's what we call it. Good control of the way down. Use the meadows, baby. Let's go, come on. Good depth, good depth. There you go. One. Good. Two. Come on. Three. Good. Four. Come on. Five. Come on. Six. Come on. Seven. Good. Come on. Eight. Come on. Let's work. Let's work. Nine. Let's work. All the way to 25. Ten. Come on. Let's work. Seven. We can throw the way down. Twelve. Come on. Thirteen. Come on. Come on. Up. Fourteen. Come on. Come on. 15, come on, come on, 16, come on, good depth, good depth, 17, come on, good, 18, come on, seven more, 19, come on, let's go, come on, baby, come on, 20, come on, 21, come on, come on, 22, Come on. Come on. Up. Point three. Come on. Point four. Come on. Keep rest. No, no rocket. Now let's do another five, okay? Let's go. Another five. Come on. Come on. One. Come on, baby. Now let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two. Come on. Three more. Three more. Come on. Come on. Two more, come on. Go, come on. One more, one more. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Okay, rep. Two reps and you're done. Two reps and you're done. Three. Now good control on the way down. Good control on the way down. Okay, let's go. Two reps. Come on. 
Up. One more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. There we go. Rapid. Good job. Good job. Good set. Good set. Good, Good set, baby. Good set. Good set. Woo! Good set. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back. Come on. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Three, here you go. Come on, John. Here we go. Fifteen. Fifteen. Come on, baby. Come on. I got the one. You got this. Watch on the front. Seventeen. You got it, baby. Come on. Eight. Here we go. Seven. Here we go. Come on. Seven more. We got this. Come on. Come on. Six. Let's go. Come, Come on. on. Five. Five. Go, John. Go, John. Come on. Five. Come on. How many? Four more. Let's go. Got to earn it. Got to earn it. Come on. Five. Three. All you got to do is three left. Come on. Five. Yep. Last two. Go, baby. Come on. Come on. One more. Good. Good All right, so Brent and I were just talking about kind of what he's learned from Meadows. And honestly, I just experienced it firsthand. We do a set of 25, right? Around 17 reps, I had a dig. And I got to 25, and I thought I was done. But Meadows knew that I got more in the tank. So we pushed like 30 plus reps. And this made you do like five more. Five and rest, then rest and then, yeah, another then couple. Two more. Yeah, so it was kind of like we're talking about he's showing me what I'm truly capable of. And honestly, that's probably where I need to be for to get the growth and the muscle. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of people probably stop shorter than they think they need to, and the growth is right across that boundary. Yeah. So so smashing through that. A real good training partner will especially can bring yeah. that out of you if you're not able to kind of find it yourself, yeah. right? Like you were in your head, yeah, able right. to be, be done with that set at 25, and you got seven more reps yeah. out of that. Yeah. And that's where like, a lot of the growth could come from. Yeah. I always like yeah. that that, uh, that quote, it's like if you're the strongest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It happened to me today, right? <laughs> I got Brett, I got John, his training partners. You know, I'm just soaking it up. They know that they can push me more, and I leave today knowing that I got that 1% better. Uh, so that's why you got to do stuff like this, get out of your comfort zone, find other training partners, uh, and push that boundary to really get to where you need to be in life. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Now slow down the reps a little bit and just squeeze and make this, you should feel this right here, burn it right there. Right here. Perfect. Two. Three. Let's go eight here. 
Boa. Seven. Eight. Now we're going to do partials out of the bottom. Just hit my hand. Right there. You don't even come up that high. Go down lower. Go down lower. Now hit my hand. Right there. Right there. Four. Right there. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Come on. Eight. Nine. Let's go 12. Ten. Come on. One. Okay, now hold it right here. Hold it right there. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Good job. Good. Good. That's a real light coach. Yeah, we just did some hamstrings. I've, I've thrown up maybe doing quads before, but that last hamstring set got me pretty good. John, what, what, did, we, what did we just do? What was that? I, I don't even remember. It was That's so called bad. maximum pump in your hamstrings. It's a, it was a drop set, and then we did partials to get even more blood in there. Then we did an iso hold to get even more blood in there. It was just, just techniques that drive a lot of blood in there. Yeah. Oh, man. Was... That's probably, I mean, not probably, that was definitely... Oh. The thing for me that made the biggest difference in my hamstring development was sets of leg curls like that. When I started training my leg, leg my hamstrings like that, that's when my hamstrings started really getting a lot better. It's getting worse every couple seconds. I can feel you it. You just feel the blood. Oh, yeah. Like right, it's literally all right here. See, and this is what I tell people. Like in bodybuilding, you want this big hang. But you have to do a leg curl to get that. It's actually one of the heads of your biceps femoris out here. When you really crank those hard, this will just start to hang, man. Yeah, that's that's. I've never felt that before. Yeah, it's honestly it's, right here is where it all I feel. Like. Leg curl to me is the most underrated exercise on legs, man. You know what it was? This is the extra stuff we did because I do flying hamstring curls all the time, but I've never felt it right there. So yeah. it's that that ISO and that. It's uh, the extra work. It's wow. the extra intensity. Yeah. You can do all the sets and volume you want, but if you don't have that kind of intensity, that, I mean, yeah, that's a game changer for me. Yeah. Yeah, mine, like, I did my set five, ten minutes ago, and they're burning. They're still burning. Mine, yeah, mine got worse <laughs> after I got off. So we just wrapped up legs. I'm still kind of standing. My legs are shaking. That's why we're videoing from the top up. Uh, but huge thank you, first of all, to Mr. Meadows for taking me through this brutal workout. Had a blast. I learned a ton of things, which if you guys are smart, you'll be obviously checking out his channel, listening to things he was saying throughout the video. Uh, but we're trying to bring back the legs. You know, everybody wants these biceps and the beach muscles. But I know this man loves legs, oh, yeah. and I love legs. And we've been putting out lots of content to make you guys forget the corona epidemic. We got the chicken leg epidemic that we got to fix. <laughs> That's right? way worse, man. That is way worse. So, Coach Meadows, give us some tips and principles for guys who are getting into training with legs just in general that you think people make a lot of mistakes on that they can improve upon pretty quickly. Oh, man, where to start? So first of all, true leg training takes pain tolerance and balls. Um, I think a lot of people just, I don't know if they're making excuses, like well, I'm doing too much, it's too hard, or whether they're just not maybe capable of pushing themselves that hard, but I think, I don't think people give themselves enough credit for what they can really do. So the first thing I would say is once you get past the beginner and intermediate stage, once you start going kind of intermediate and advanced, you've got to really train hard. Uh -huh. And for legs, that means you've got to tolerate a lot of pain. Now. And then you go to the next level of that. Well, what do you mean by pain? What about exercises? Mm -hmm. I would never tell somebody to go to failure on a set of squats. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a bad idea. Your form will probably get bad and you hurt yourself. But if you do like the pendulum squat we did as one, just one example, that's something you can go really hard on um, and not hurt yourself. So what I like to have people do is pick the exercises that are safe to go hard on and go really hard, one really, really hard set of those. And keep, obviously keep your compound movements in, but maybe leave a rep or two in the tank on your top sets to be safe. Um, you can't go wrong with progressive overload, obviously. I mean, you always want to get a little stronger, more reps. Like, like that's fundamental. But once you get beyond that, stimulating a muscle to grow, it's stimulating a muscle to grow. When you activate the muscle, when you load it, and when you exhaust it, I don't care what you're doing. That's the basic basis of what makes the muscle grow. So whether you're doing a pendulum squat or a hack squat or a leg press, enough weight to activate it, 
enough reps to really fatigue it. Like, what more can you do? You really can't do any more. So then it becomes the game of exercise sequences. What do you do first? What do you do second? And I'm a firm believer that there are certain orders for people. Like, we do a lot of leg curls before our squats. It makes the squat feel better. Now, we didn't do that today because you had just trained your hamstrings. But there are certain things that you'll find work in a better order. Like, I would never come to the gym and do, like, heavy lunges. Yeah. Like, that would just tear my knees up, my hips up. But doing them third, maybe? Mm -hmm. So, you got to look at sequences. you got to look at intensity. you got to look at applying intensity to the right exercises. you got to look at working through pain. Yeah. I'm a big believer in form. Mm -hmm. Perfect form. I try to never do anything sloppy. Um, and, then, and then we talk about, like frequency and all that you know when I tell people to train a muscle again when it's recovered yeah yeah right if it's recovered in four days hit it, hit it yeah. if it's recovered in five days hit it if it's, whatever it is whether it's three days four days five days when a muscle's recovered and you can hit it hit it don't wait another three or four days yeah. Yeah. but at the same time don't be so glued to your to your split that you train again it's not even ready yeah. if you got fibers that are damaged it can't produce as much force you won't be able to you won't be able to get as good of a yeah. workout right so I'm also a real big believer in common sense. <laughs> and common sense says you train a muscle when it's recovered. So don't be afraid to push your legs back or push them up a day, depending on how you feel. Pay really close attention to your peri-workout nutrition, what you eat before and after. That's gonna help you with recovery. I think that like if I had to say the basics, those are probably my idea of the basics. Absolutely. Now he just hit a ton of great principles. We threw a lot at you there, but everything he said was gold. So take that for what it's worth, put it in your knowledge. Uh, bank and deposit that stuff because that's going to get you some bigger legs and uh, just I, I think the biggest principle too is hard work you know I think too many people aren't working hard they're trying to find quick fixes to get to these solutions but you got to put the time in you got to sit down come up with a plan right there's a lot of people who just think that they can come in and do whatever they want all the time but there has to be some sort of system and the workout we did today I could tell it was systematically laid out for a purpose and then we executed it with intensity great training partners who pushed me, right? If I were to come here by myself, maybe I wasn't gonna push as hard, but we got, you know, Coach Meadows here who knows there was more in the tank. He's pushing me in past that barrier, which we kept talking about throughout the video, which that's where the growth is at. But can't thank you enough. My pleasure, Honestly, man. this is a great time. Uh, last, plug yourself away. Tell them where they can find you, all your stuff, man. You guys need to be following this man and what he's all about. Well, I appreciate that. It's Mountain Dog One on my YouTube. Mountain Dog One on Instagram, and my website is mountaindogdiet.com. That's it. All right, man. Dude, thank you so much, brother. Oh, appreciate it. Man. <laughs>